What is up, ladies and G's? It's your boy D1 Snipes. Uh, today, what we're doing is CTF Retreat. Uh, I know I said we'd do hardpoint, but I think a hardpoint is a little flag. more complicated than even I anticipated at first. Um, so I'm going to do that at a different time after I've played a little bit more. Uh, I want to play some more GB hardpoint just to get a good feel for it. Uh, I've watched a lot of streams, and CTF I think I've got down for the most part. Um, it's a little hectic. But I think most of you guys uh, can pick it up as you watch this video. I just wanna, I don't wanna show you exactly how to play it um, because there really isn't a right or wrong way to play it. But what I do wanna do is just point out a, key f a few key spots and a few key mindsets that you need to have uh, in order to win, uh, especially on this map. All right, so the first thing what we're gonna do is uh, you're starting off, I believe it's on the Sentinel side, I'm not really exactly sure. What we're gonna do off the break, um, you obviously wanna pop your overclock. You wanna get here as quickly as possible, and 100%, you know guys are gonna, somebody's gonna be on that wall. And my, at least in my strategy, you have to send two guys pull side. The reason you do this is because pull side is uh, the most effective side to pull the flag. Um, it's by far the fastest. Underground may be the safest, but you give yourself a very poor spawn and it's not easily defendable. So if you get the flag on the other side of the map, uh, it's very hard to stay alive over there and it's very hard to uh, move the flag effectively. So what you're gonna wanna do is uh, an effective this side or middle to this side pull, and I'll explain that in a minute. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna have your right side guy I'm gonna call this your right side AR. Uh, I'll label these even though I'm gonna, just gonna do this in one big long video. I'm not gonna do the um, point of views for this video simply for the fact that it's gonna get a little complicated with people moving throughout the map. So this is just gonna be your right side uh, AR Slayer. Um, this guy's not gonna be running the flag. He's gonna be very defensive on this side of the map. Uh, he's gonna just try and hold down this right side, especially in the pool. So if you're looking here, uh, you're not really concerned with the middle. I'll show you why in a minute. But you're going to just be looking to pick this guy right here. Um, just put some fire on him. Keep off your guy that I'm going to have rushing for you. And then if you do get these kills, you're going to want to move up along this right side here. Uh, just watch in the middle. Uh, this doorway is pretty popular to flank through. <clears throat> um, making sure there's nobody wrapping back. And then you're not even going to check this doorway because you're going to jump right up here and start slaying fools. Uh, this is a great head glitch. Uh, if you guys can take control of this wall and this room right here and make them spawn on the bottom of the map, uh, you're going to be golden. Um, you just need to focus on staying alive. Uh, even if you your middle guy dies and you can pick up a kill here, uh, back up. Wait for your teammates. Um, I know that there's been some crazy ass plays with as fast as you can move in this game, but just want to point out that it's much, much easier in every game to pull with your uh, team. So you, all you're doing is slaying right here. Um, and then your flag guy, or your OBJ, uh, wants to run middle. Um, what he's doing is <clears throat> watching for this rush right here. And then if your slayer calls out somebody jumping up, trade that kill right there, or take this kill, and then help out on the wall. Um, more than likely, they're going to send two guys, and then one guy over there. They might even send three here, but that's kind of... That's kind of dumb because if they call out three here, your guy on the left side can instantly push up and they're going to be in deep, deep shit if you can get one or two of those kills. So what your OBJ is going to do, you just want to get these two initial kills and then uh, you don't want to go for the flag instantly because if you think about it, the other team is going to be pushed up as well. So what you want to do is pop in right here and look at this door. Uh, they're going to be wrapping back. Somebody's probably standing over here. Uh, somebody's probably up on this platform up here. Uh, so you just want to watch them wrapping back. So your OBJ going to help out on these kills. Uh, this spot, they're going to try and rotate back. So you need to get another round of kills right here. Uh, the stuns are good. They're going to spawn right down there or up at that rock, depending on where your other guys pushed. And then you're going to pull, pull the flag out. Either you want to pull it out across the wall and then watch the middle or one of my favorite pulls is over here make sure that they think that they're close um, depending on where they try to wrap back to but uh, 
just kind of let them think you're going there and then go through uh, this direction. Uh, the pool side is obviously the safest. Uh, I'm going to show you more of this side on the, the right side Bring of this so that you can see a, a good the good cutoffs I guess that you want to see. Half time. Uh, the other side is a little bit more simple in my opinion but we're going to switch on over to the other side and go Capture over we're not going to go over anything on this side. I'm going to run over to the other side of the map. I know this will be kind of complicated, but uh, bear with me, guys. It's a, this is a very complicated game mode. Um, you know how to play it. Uh, you're going to win a lot of games. A lot of teams think that uh, SMD is the king. But if you're, this is a, a swing game right here. CTF is big. All right, so off the break, this guy defending this side, you're just coming in here. Uh, trying to get this kill you know there's going to be at least one guy here so if there's two you need to stay alive if there's one you can challenge try to get that kill you'll have somebody up here to trade with you uh, verticality verticality is your friend so if you can get up here before uh, they see you uh, do it this is I mean it's out in the open but people don't look here it's easy to pick up at least one kill as they're running by or boosting in the door or whatever uh, this guy is going to be your cut guy, main slayer. Um, if he can get up to a certain point that I'm going to show you, great. If not, uh, don't worry about it. It's not essential. A uh, great place to watch cuts is right in here. Um, what's great about this spot is you're in the middle of the map. Um, so if your guy does end up running through this door and come through here, uh, you've got his cuts through the middle. Uh, this is a great lockdown spot and I know that you're open from the back but if you have your good slayer up here he should be able to watch your back doors and you guys if you can control this middle room and then that wall over there killing them uh, you guys are gonna win this map so just focus on uh, these two guys slaying in the middle and slaying over there and have your OBJ just run right through the middle of the map but on the left side of course alright so holding down this um, if you can make it to this spot, uh, great. I should have went through the other door to show you the route, but if you can get through here and up these stairs, oh man, it's going to wreak havoc on the other team. Uh, if you can try and kill them wrapping back to their flag uh, right here, you have two head, just nasty head glitches, and you can see them coming through this door, so you can completely control their base. Um, it's just you need to have your two best players doing that if you're going to do that. Um, <clears throat> your last guy that runs on this side, a great spot to run is uh, I like to be conservative on this side of the map. But here's the thing. You've got to communicate with your team. So let's take into account that uh, this guy needs to stay alive over here. You want to not block that spawn back there. Uh, I've seen people do this in streams. They'll try and hold down this building, but they'll block the spawn, and the team will like spawn in the middle or some shit. Just, just crazy stuff happens. So you want to pay attention to your team getting kills. So say your team gets three down really quick, and you're missing one guy, but you're looking for him. So you're just looking for this right here. Um, you've got a guy at that top wall. You know they're gonna spawn down there. Do not block the spawn. Just back up at this wall. Give it a few seconds, and then. You just gotta learn to time it out. Uh, it's it's five seconds, so just make sure you're paying attention. If you see two dead real quick, bounce behind this wall, take take a few seconds, check your base out, make sure nobody's sneaking, and then pop back out and get those two kills off that head glitch. It's a real easy way to defend your base, especially through the bottom. Uh, it allows you to help in the middle if you need to. Uh, this is a, you're really easily called out, so just be prepared to get back to this spot. Um, you're forcing yourselves to get the spawn over there and in this building if you can hold this down over here and the pull side uh, just keep them out of your base those are the biggest points that I can give you uh, especially on CTF um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the game what team am I on I don't even know what team I'm in so <clears throat> we're gonna switch over to the other side Alright, so that's defense and running the flag from that side. I know it says I'm on offense for that side, but uh, we're going to switch over. I hope you guys are sticking with me on this video. Uh, this is a little bit harder to do. I'm not sure how to do a POV. I may try it in the next video, but this map is a little bit complicated, so I'm just going to uh, leave it as the one big long video, as I'll do with hardpoint as well. Alright, so I have 30 seconds. What I'm going to do 
is uh, give you your right side defensive player. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention, on these defensive player sides, um, what you want to do, you want to stay alive. You don't really want to challenge this. Not many people are going to push through here, but if they do, you're in a good position to take them out before they can get to that door or come around through the outside and uh, maybe get a kill on that head glitch. That's a good spot to kill guys from the middle. Uh, you just want to work the bottom here. Uh, you don't want to give your team this spawn, though, and I'll explain that in the next, uh, in the overtime. Overtime. But one thing that you do want to do, on the guy on the left side, the last guy that I was explaining, the guy that stands up on the two-story building, Capture the flag. what you want to do is, I'll, yeah, I'll explain this real quick. <clears throat> Because the other side I should be able to make really quick. Uh, Capture and defend the flags. So what you want to do here is if you find out that the other team is spawning out, you block this spawn, and you can sneak, you might as well do it. Just run through. You're only going to block this spawn for a few seconds. But this will really mess up the enemy. If they spawn all the way in the back of their base, you're going to block this spawn, so be ready to kill somebody. But if you can pick them up trying to defend their base on that wall, you've got a golden flank opportunity. Uh, make sure you can get a two-piece here. Uh, don't waste your life if you do this huge flank. Make sure you can get a two-piece and a flagpole because your life is extremely important. Alright, so moving on, uh, let's get back to this guy that runs over here. Alright, so this guy's main job is to stay alive and make sure that nobody's sneaking on uh, this side. Nobody wants these spawns down here. If you're spawning down here on that side or spawning over here on this side, you're doing something wrong and you need to address it as quickly as possible because that's a long way to run and there's a lot of head glitches and a lot of open ground you have to cover before you can get uh, the flag down. So just stay alive, watch middle, make sure nobody flanks and then what I would do uh, it depends on your team's setup. If you have a really good player you can send over here that stays alive, just send one. But if you can, if you have to send two, don't worry about it. Uh, it's better safe than sorry. I would rather, I like covering the map, um, the whole map evenly. I don't like overloading, but on this side, uh, I recommend overloading for this side anyway. So you're going to have a guy come here, of course. Uh, you don't want to challenge that head, rock, head glitch. That's pretty nasty. He's got a better one than you do unless you're kneeling. But it's still even better than yours. So what I would do is be back up around this corner. You're just watching a rush and then a push through middle. You're watching for somebody on the jump up. You're watching for somebody to push in the middle side. So you're covering the guy that you're going to have jump up or go through the middle. Uh, one thing that I would do is... Uh, I would 100% nade this. If you can time your stuns on the other side, I would nade this over here as well. But I'm, I like to save mine, honestly, for a tight spot. I don't like to just throw them off the spawn. But you do uh, your preference. <clears throat> just letting you know what's going on. So uh, you rush. You want to send your OBJ through here. Jump up here. Uh, this is how you're going to kill the guy off the head glitch. You want to jump, uh, try and kill him. Or, one thing that I like to do is uh, challenge this guy right here. They're for sure going to send two guys. Uh, you just want to challenge this, get to the middle of the map, and uh, <clears throat> I, like to, I like to cross the map really quickly in the middle here. Uh, this chain, this You can get to the middle of the map, or the other side of the map, so quickly through this right here, and it's got plenty of cover. Uh, I like doing it just to just to mess with the team's head. Uh, he's, they called out pull side, and then three seconds later you're on the other side of the map. So that's why I really enjoy this map, as you can do a lot of flanking really quickly. And it doesn't really seem that way with the big wide angles that it has. So what you want to do with your OBJ is just, uh, depending on how many picks you get here, or if you get one or two picks over here, you just want to control this building. Uh, if you can if your pool guy is up on that ledge and you've got somebody alive on that side, they're going to spawn down there or they're going to spawn over there or spawn right here. So what you need to do is you need to block that spawn so that they're spawning further down and then use this head glitch. This is a dirty head glitch. Um, fucking throw nades back there, do whatever you got to do or uh, watch this spot right here. You're going to have to get another round of kills. Unfortunately, you can't just get one round and pull on this map anyway. So you just need to get your second round of kills, get your flag pull. Uh, shit, I'm, yeah, that's my flag. Whoops. 
But anyways, if you can have uh, your wall guy move up to right here, you're really going to control a lot of spawns. Um, if he's just backing these rocks, just causing havoc, uh, just kind of doing what he does as a slayer. You want your best player on that wall. Uh, you want him controlling this side of the map. Even if they pull and go to that side of the map, he's got a great he's got great angles to try and stop that flagpole as your OBJs and uh, other guys work the middle of the map and then hold down the back right. Uh, sorry that this is so long. I honestly did not expect this. I didn't really think about what I was going to say, but I think I said the most of what I wanted to. Uh, strategies, spots. Um, mindsets uh, places to control um, if you guys want me to go even more in depth with, with this I may do one side at a time on CTF from now on uh, I didn't think it would take this long it's a little bit more complicated than I thought uh, thank you guys for watching I hope you guys learned Capture something and uh, if you guys have any suggestions for the next game mode next map uh, let me know. I've already done all the S&Ds, so check my playlists for the uh, strats on those. And if you're looking for CTS and hardpoints, those are what I'm doing in the future. Uh, Uplink will probably be last. So let me know what you guys think of these videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.